Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I'm going to show you how to do a simple fade in Unity using a canvas group and some simple code. And you can do this whether you need a scene transition or fading in and out, and you don't need any other assets. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to create a new canvas. So in my game here, I go to UI and I choose canvas. I'm going to call this my fading canvas. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I add a canvas group. And you can see here on my canvas group, you'll be able to fade the alpha from one to zero. Now it doesn't do anything currently because we need to make something say like an image in front of the screen. So we've got to UI again when we're on the canvas and just add a basic image. I'll call this my fade image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the top corner and in this bottom corner of the anchors, I can hold alt and left click and it'll expand it to the selection of the screen. Then what I can do is make sure I put it fully black and I'll keep it 100% opacity. If you want to make sure that it fits for other resolutions, I've just made sure that it scales with screen height from 1920 by 1080. You could see that we can fade in and out. You may want to also disable these. Now we'll create a brand new script. I'll call it my fading script. We'll need to reference the canvas group that we created. And I'm just going to give it a shorthand of lowercase canvas group. Then we're going to have another private field called float fade duration. Set that equal to something like five seconds. You can mess around with this as you want. Then now what we want to do, we want to create our coroutine to be able to do this fade. So we'll have private, i.e. numerator, and we'll just call this the fade canvas group. And then we're going to pass in some parameters that we need. So we're going to pass in a canvas group that we want to be able to use. I'm just going to shorthand it to CG. Have a flow of the start, so whatever the start value of the timer will be, and have a float for the end and have a float for the duration because we're going to pass all these in exactly when we create another method. We'll write our local variable called float elapsed time, set that equal to 0.0f. Then we're going to create a while loop and it automatically completes this if we double tab. And if we say elapsed time is less than the fade duration, so if any time that happens, we need to be make sure that we're going to be fading. So we'll say that the elapsed time plus equals time dot delta time then we'll say that the cg which is the canvas group dot alpha equals math f dot lerp because we want to do this smoothly then we'll say we want to start at the start value reach the end value and do elapsed time divided by the duration and we can end that up and then we can say yield return null and then underneath this while statement we can just say cg dot alpha equals end and while you're learning about fading, I'll put this on my Patreon and you can get access to this script and the project along with over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. We could just write a method to be able to reference this from other places, other scripts, other UI elements. We can write another public void and we'll just call this fade in and we'll have something called start coroutine and open up the brackets and we'll run the coroutine fade canvas group then open up the brackets and just reference our field or our variable which was the lowercase canvas group comma the canvas group dot alpha which is its value at any given time we'll go all the way to zero so we're fading in and then we'll go with the fade duration we can copy that entire method and just call this fade out and then we can do the same thing the only difference is we can set this to one and let's say you wanted to control this more easily, a start method, then we'll create a new field called private bool fade in, set that equal to false. And then we can say that if fade in is equal to true at any point, then we can have the fade in method like this. And then you could say something like else. This is just an example. If you had this at the start, then you could just have fade out. But of course you could reference these public methods in script or in button presses. You could add this script anywhere, but I'm just going to add it to my canvas, which has the canvas group. And you can see that we need the canvas group adding, which is there. We'll fade in over five seconds and we'll just click the tick for fading in. And then we press play. Then if we test this, you can see that it fades in over that period of time. And because I've unticked fade in and I've made sure the alpha is zero, when I'm here, I'll be able to fade out in my scene. And again, if you created a button, you could add this to a click event and reference the fade in or fade out if you wanted to tap on a button press. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and it'll be something that you can take away and use in your own games and I'll put it all on my Patreon. And do be sure to check out all the links below for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev. 
because there's a massive humble bundle and all the Unity sales at the minute. And thanks for supporting me on Patreon. Big thank you to Peter Steiner and a massive thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.